नमस्ते गुरु कुलियंस होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर हेल्दी फिट एंड फाइन एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल द गुरुकुल नीलो खेरी टुडे आई संजीव शर्मा लेक्चरर इन इंग्लिश हैव ब्रॉट बिफोर यू द पार्ट नंबर टू ऑफ चैप्टर टू वी आर नॉट एफ्रेड टू डाई इफ यू कैन इफ सॉरी इफ यू ऑल कैन बी टूगेदर रिटर्न बाय गॉर्डन कुक एंड एलन ईस्ट इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो If you have not gone through, you are requested to see that video, to watch that video. As you will see in that video, the complete data of the summarization of this chapter in a beautifully manner. Right? I have given a description of the the writers as well as clear how a narrator that how the narrator of the story along with his family. had decided to have a round throughout the ocean okay just like 200 years back a big captain captain cook he had taken the round of the world in the same manner he wanted to duplicate captain gordon cook right so that's why he collected a huge sum of his amount and then he invested his money in order to construct a boat 23 meter long boat he had constructed made of wooden and the weight was approximately 30000 ton okay and when he had got it tested okay in the roughest weather in the roughest ocean so after that one day he had decided to go on the sea voyage thereafter along with his wife his son his daughter clear his son uh who means john okay and his daughter sue both of them they were showing their uh, heroism during some problem when it was occurred when the storm came in between so the two crew men had been hired by the family in order to help them whenever the critical situation occurred in between so what happened just after christmas 20 after 25th of december the gigantic gales started blowing the wind started blowing over there the storm started coming at a tremendous position then slowly slowly the sea's condition was becoming more and more critical so on january 2 the condition was becoming more critical the gales were uh, enabling the waves the sea waves they were coming 15 meter up as the waves were coming high the front portion of the ship was going high in this way and suddenly they came downwards whenever the wave they we were taking the boat upwards the narrator and his family they seemed that they were riding over the clouds this was the disaster they had been encountering and everybody started considering that their end was near but you know a big scholar has rightly said where there is a will there is a way definitely the narrator he himself decided to have at la uh, you know he decided to just make a rescue operation and he opened his compass and uh, after that he started measuring in which location he was over there but unfortunately the pal the storm the jib they had fallen down everything was coming in a, a you know horizontal way clear so in this way uh, the dashboards the railings from the side side of the board everybody had been destroyed okay the water started entering the boat so when he connected the water pump in order to throw water out of the ship clear he found the pump was not working but thank god another pipe he, another pump he was having in bulk so he connected the pipe towards the previous one pipe to pump to the the uh, you know the pump he was having in bulk okay in extra so it was working luckily then he connected he just started that pump and it started working tremendously and started throwing the water <clears throat> out of the sea and the level of the water it started getting decreased 
clear then he had seen the condition of his son before that he got a serious injury and his ribs had been broken his teeth had been broken his mouth was full of blood then he called and he saw his wife mary was coming then he handed over the steering of the boat into the hands of his wife mary and just went downwards in the bunk in order to see the condition of his son and daughter clear when he came downwards he had seen that his daughter sue was having a serious injury on her forehead but she didn't want to discourage her father moreover she said that that she was okay because she knew very well that her father was going to make a rescue operation because their end was near that's why she did not want to distract her father then the father continued his work okay after the practicing of one and two days in continuity everybody was giving his duty in rotation so after two days when he had seen the two pin prints the pin prints i had decided uh, i had told you that these were like the two dots in the vast ocean and these two pin prints were indicating the two islands of amsterdam it these were the i one of the islands were there behind the name of um, a great scientist and uh, so he started moving the the you know the way of the boat to in that direction and uh, then he went downwards for taking some rest and he said that he if they would be lucky then definitely the ship would be reaching to that island and they would be safe then the son and the daughter both of them they said he means daddy we are not afraid to die if we all can be together definitely if the family was there then no need to worry well what the condition would be there in front of them they would see the condition clear thoroughly with uh, showing confidence dedication determination and devotion right when the father he went downwards and took rest in the evening when he uh, woke up and he found that his son was coming and he was hugging and daughter as well as both of them they were just uh, praising their father and by showing that he you are the best daddies one of the best daddies in the world and then he said he what actually in fact what he had done then both of them they had described he means that they have found the two islands which were showing their indication just before their eyes and the narrator he was surprised to see if to listen then he came tremendously on uh, the dashboard and then he started looking in front of his eyes yes this was the indication of a vast island and after some time they found the land under their feet and their life had been saved by 28 inhabitants and from there onwards they could be able to go back to their homes clear so then uh, the daughter she had to go under the process of some uh, you know injuries sorry some operation minor operation because she was having a blood clotting because of the uh, the injury she was having on her forehead nearby her eyes clear so six minor operations took place but after all their life had been saved so this is the motivational story which oh i want to tell you where there is a will there is a way means the condition may be any kind of uh, the critical situation is coming before our eyes that we should not lose our courage because if we do not lose our courage definitely the god will help us and god helps those who help themselves clear so on my previous video i had started the chapter thoroughly and uh, the page number 13 the first page i had already finished now please open this book hornbill this is the book which you and open the page number 14 and the chapter's name is uh, if we are not afraid die if we can all be together we are we are not afraid to die if we can all be together right yeah this is the story written by uh gordon cook and allen east right so this is the story we are not afraid to die if we can all be together open page number 14 now this time as i told you the narrator along with his family he had decided to go on a sea voyage and thereafter they had started their voyage and what now what happened on our second day of our cape town means 
their journey had reached to Cape Town. Cape Town, it's a city in South Africa. When the family finally reached South Africa, we begin to encounter strong gales. Gales means wind. G A L E S means wind. The strong wind. Clear? The strong wind started blowing in front of them. Clear? Strong gales were coming. Encounter means they started facing, they started looking, the wind started blowing, they were interacting, they were striking to the ship and striking to their bodies for the next few weeks. Means for the next one week, two weeks, three weeks. Clear? They blew continuously. Means the wind started blowing in continuity. They means they were not being stopped over there. Gales did not worry me means now narrator is describing if the wind was blowing the wind did not worry me means i was not having a tension of the gales i didn't have the tension of the wind but i was having the tension of the size of the waves means along with the gales along with the wind when the wind was blowing so the waves were moving upwards clear this was the tension wind was not the tension the tension was there means along with the wind the waves were moving high clear so they were alarming alarming means dangerous a l a r m i n g alarming means dangerous right this is when the waves were coming Clear? Sorry, when the winds were coming, okay. So, gales were striking to the waves. In this way, and the waves were moving upwards in this way. Along with the waves, the front portion of the ship was going high in this way. This was the main tension. And moreover, the waves were throwing plenty of water into the ship, which was the main trouble. Actually, wind was not a trouble. Trouble was, trouble was there. The gigantic gales, sorry, waves. Right, so up to 15 meter high, the waves were moving as high as our main mast. Mast means the pole they were having clear. M A S T, mast means P O L E, pole. And if you might have seen uh, the ship, the sea ship, clear. You might have seen in television you can if you have not seen then check it out on google and you will see uh, in between the ship the ship of uh, 50 years back 100 years back the old kinds of ship clear so they were having a big uh, pole in between in between the ship in order to control its weight clear it should not be it control its balance it should not be imbalanced in this way so mast used to be there so mast size was more than up to 15 meter and it was going uh, more than 15 means meter means up to 15 meter it was sure the waves were moving but sometime it was going more than 15 meter right so december 25 now the, it was a month of december i told you so now christmas came over there so we found 3500 kilometers east of cape town means we we had been moving towards the east direction from the cape town we had left cape town at 3500 kilometer behind despite atrocious weather despite means even after okay despite means even after atrocious a t r o c i o s atrocious means bad okay or rough you can say that so even after bad weather even after rough weather clear we had a wonderful holiday complete with the christmas tree the christmas celebration so you know very well students christmas is the is the is the festival of especially the christians clear so they were christians and they had to celebrate their festival so even after the gales were coming even after the uh, the wind was blowing clear the storm was coming but they didn't take care of the storm and they celebrated their christmas party with a high christmas tree by decorating it clear so new year's day saw no improvement in the weather and after one week when new year came on 1st of january no improvement was seen and no improvement was not coming in the weather clear but we reasoned that it had to change soon and what we reasoned that means we were making some expectation definitely it had to be changed and it did change for the worse yes 
our expectation were coming true the condition of weather was changed but changed not into good weather but changed into worse okay one is bad one is worse and third one is worst three degrees are there bad worse and worst so the condition had become worst means the speed the velocity of the wind was going tremendously very high clear so at dawn dawn means the two timings are there sunrise and sunset d a w n most probably we are using it for sun rising in the early morning dawn means very early morning at a time of sun rising so at dawn on january 2nd the waves were gigantic gigantic means enormous very big g i g a n t i c gigantic means huge very big clear very big gales were coming enormous wind was coming tremendous speed has been increased so we were sailing with the only small storm jib jib means in the translation pal clear or tarpal you can say that so this is the jib uh, people used to have in their ship in order to control the pressure of the weather okay so they were having a very uh, small storm jib storm means uh you can say that storm jib is it is it, it is to be called ki means in order to control the velocity of the wind during the storm clear tufan mein hawaon ko rokne ke liye clear in hindi translation right so storm jib were there when we were having only storm jib and we were still making 8 knots 8 knots it is the speed to be measured uh, with the knots k n o t s like uh, whenever we are moving on the road we are saying ki 8 km per hour 9 km per hour 20 km 30 km right so similarly whenever you are moving in into the water so the uh, your distance is measured with the word k n o t s knots clear so we, our speed was 8 knots as the ship rose to the top of each wave we could see the endless enormous seas rolling towards us as i told you when the gales were coming when the wind was coming so along with the waves the pressure of the water it was taking the boat high the front portion was going high up to 15 meter and when we were going high we started sailing just above the black clouds and thereafter we thought that that we were flying over there it was just beyond our expectation and we had never expected such kind of weather would be encountered by us and now the condition was becoming more and more worst so e each time when the boat was going up so they were just uh, having their heart break immediately on the spot and they started thinking now their end was near clear so they could see just in front of their eyes the enormous sea everywhere water was water everywhere in each direction and enormous water the plenty of water was going to roll be towards their boat and towards them and the screaming of the wind screaming means this heavy sound clear s c r e a m i n g screaming means uh, loud voice you can say loud voice right the loud voice of the wind it was scared all of us and spray was painful to ear spray means when it was throwing water clear towards our boat it was very dangerous for our ears and we could not bear with it to slow the boat down in order to decrease the speed of the boat we dropped the storm jib and lashed a heavy mooring means if you might have seen uh, especially when the people they used to go during the sea voyage especially 100 years back 200 years back so in their boat they used to have anchor an anchor a n c h o r anchor actually it is a connect it's a very heavy iron piece you can say that okay so it was connected to an iron wire what is called hindi janjanji right so it is there ki it it was dropped with along with the the uh, iron chain into the water so it used to control the speed of the boat right okay so see, this option they had adopted and what did they do they la they, they had they dropped the storm jib the storm jib they were having clear i told you jib means tarpal or pal storm means in order to control the wind of the storm so they had dropped it okay it was dropped downwards it had been removed and lashed lashed means swayed moved okay 
L A S E G E D that means moved or swayed hilana you can say that okay so swayed or moved a heavy mooring mooring means the iron i told you yeah the iron rop okay iron rop to control control the speed of the ship right of the ship or in other word anchor you can say that right with anchor mooring with anchor they had dropped into the water in order to control the speed of the ship because it was completely dangerous for them then we double lashed everything went through our life right drill means then we started moving we started putting our efforts double in order to move the things and went through our life raft drill means uh, it is the way in order to rescue make and rescue operation suppose uh, if you might have seen when uh, titanic was sank, sunk okay uh, in 1912 so the people were panic inside so people were not moving uh, they were not getting the life jackets they were not locating the life boards but some of them they had got clear whatever the things they used to get they were trying their level best to find out so these were the things in order to use um, for the rescue operation so so attached okay attached lifelines dunned out oil skins and life jackets and everything whatever they were having and they started waiting means the life jackets they were having okay they covered with their body with uh, oil so no oil skins means whenever if you are going to see why the people used to carry they usually carry some oil skins because the skin gets dried because of the salty water of the sea okay all the things they had carried along with them ki suppose if any critical situation would be occur so we can we will try we would try our level best to just uh, make a rescue operation for our life right we would be able to save our life the first indication of impending disaster came at about 6 pm means the first indication the first information of the impending the high the dangerous disaster okay dangerous storm it came about 6 pm in the evening in the evening 6 pm the indication of the storm came just before our eyes with an ominous silence ominous silence it is called ki bure shagun ki shanti in hindi translation uh, what do you call it ki tufan se pehle ki shanti right so it is the it is the silence which usually occurs just only for 1 minute before upcoming of the disaster it was an ominous silence and we had got the indication now the storm will come now the disaster will come the wind dropped suddenly the wind stopped over there immediately immediately the wind stopped over there and the sky immediately grew dark means the black clouds emerged into the uh, sky then came a growing roar roar means the the loud thunder voice garjana the thunder voice was coming okay and an enormous cloud towered aft of the ship means enormous a very big cloud it was approaching towards our ship it came just quite nearby to our ship we could touch means just like that he means it was just above our head over our head you can say right we could touch it with our hands in this way and with horror means now this time they were fully scared they could not do i realized the narrator he realized that it was not a cloud it was not only a cloud but it is like a wave okay the wave one of the waves it was like no other i had ever seen this kind of wave which is just over my head which is just above my head i had never seen such kind of wave actually it is a metaphorical means uh, the clouds had been compared to the waves right metaphorically he had made a comparison between the waves and the cloud means the clouds were looking like very dangerous waves which was coming to take our lives which were coming to kill all of us okay and it appeared perfectly vertical vertical means horizontal this is and vertical this is okay so it was looking like completely vertical and almost twice the height of the other waves means if the waves were coming of 15 meter so it was a twice of other waves means the length the you know the length of this wave was coming more than 
30 meter means double of the normal waves which which had been coming over there okay so it means the, all of them they had decided they had thought themselves that life was in dangerous the life was in danger now no option was to be seen just in front of their eyes what to do what not to do so and with a frightful breaking crest crest means on the top on the top of the ship it was producing a loud thunder voice clear with a loud thunder voice on the top of the ship we found the indication of the black cloud which was appealing which was looking like a and like an enormous wave okay the roar increased to a thunder the sound the high sound roar means the heavy sound was increasing to a thunder thunder means garjana like thunder clap okay as the stern moved up of up the face of the wave means the upper portion the main portion the front portion of the ship it was started moving towards the wave in this way it started moving upwards and for a moment i thought we might ride over it means when the v ship was going upwards with a thunder clap we started thinking just for one or two seconds that we were riding over the clouds some clouds badlo ke upar ride kar rahe in this way but then a tremendous explosion explosion means you know we spot in the translation and very dangerous explosion took place shook the deck deck means the floor the front floor of the ship it had been broken a torrent okay torrent means like a hailstorm you can say that okay the wind was coming inside so torrent means hailstorm of green and white water torrent t here i can write down t o r r e n t means like hailstorm okay so like hailstorm in the form of different colored water green and white water it broke over the ship means the water was coming in different shape two shapes somewhere green water to be seen and somewhere white colored water to be seen means white with bubbles you can say that okay otherwise the color of the of the sea was green sea water was green right so it was coming on the deck of the sh of the ship okay my head my head it smashed smashed means collided takrana smashed it is collided takrana means my head smashed into the wheel the wheel i was having like a steering okay so my head was striking to it immediately and i was aware of flying overboard i started thinking that i was flying over the board and sinking below the waves and the waves were coming just above my body and i was about to to sink i was thinking that i have already sunk under the waves the waves were over my head and i was under the waves it was the condition on the deck of the ship okay i accepted my approach death i thought my death was coming near and i was loss losing consciousness i was losing consciousness means i was getting um, unconscious means behosh ho raha tha main i felt quite peaceful at the, at that time the condition was there ki means i relaxed my body and i was relaxed in this way right unexpectedly now after that what happened this was not an expectation they were having unexpectedly my head popped out of the water pop means came out okay p o p p p e d popped out means came out emerged out okay my ha my head it came out of the water and a few meter away just few meter away wave walker it was the name of the boat the boat was near capsizing capsizing means going to uh the, you know twist in this way palatna clear it was going to rotate her mast mast i told you pole which was having in between in order to control the balance of the ship her mast almost horizontal in this way right then a wave hurled our her upright my lifeline jerked taut i grabbed the guard rails and sailed through the air into the wave walker's main boom means my condition was becoming more and more critical i could not control the heavy gales the pressure of the heavy gales automatically i was holding the railing 
on the border of the ship okay and i started sailing through the water okay and just i came into the main boom main uh, captain's room of the ship subsequent waves tossed me tossed means threw me okay t o double -S, s e d tossed means threw thank now the waves threw me around the deck like a rag doll just just i was a rag doll okay rag means what do you call a hindi khurdri kapde ki bani like that clear so rag i was looking like a rag doll and i had been thrown by the waves in the uh, each boundary of the ship okay my left ribs ribs means pasliya clear my left ribs cracked i was having pain oh my god my mouth filled with blood because some teeth had been broken okay my mouth was full of blood because of broken teeth and somehow but even then i found the wheel i found the steering of the ship i knew if i had lost my will power agar maine ummeed chhod di so definitely we would be defeated by this storm lined up the stern then i started controlling i lined up the stern the ship for the next wave uh, and hang on means i was ready to encounter the next wave was going to come on my ship okay so up to here for today's it's sufficient what happened after that we will study in the next part so hopefully i think so you might have enjoyed it so students it's my humble request to each and every one that these words meaning which i have written over there so these words meanings along with the question question answers you are to write down in your notepads and we will not listen any kind of excuse that i had forgotten means i will check it out your notepads on your on the whatsapp number right so if you have some queries regarding any of the words if you have queries regarding any of the uh, mean of lines you have not got in between the summarization you have not got in a good manner so please please send your queries on the whatsapp number in which you have already been added okay so please have the advantage of this so till then till next video have a nice day thank you namaskar